Welcome back, everybody, folks. You know my first guest tonight from A Beautiful Mind, The Da Vinci Code, and The Avengers movies. Please welcome Paul Bettany. It's lovely nice to see you again. I like this. I like the sort of linen suit with a vest, no tie. It's formal and casual at the it's same kind of time. It's loose, which is. It's know, loose? It's loose, yeah. It's what does that like, mean? That's a it's... fancier word than I have used. It means, dr <laughs> it means drunk Englishman. Uh, really? really? Yeah. Are, are, are we honored to have a drunk Englishman tonight? <laughs> well, not yet. All right. <laughs> Keep drinking your water. Um, it's my special now, water. Now, uh, I found out something. Uh, no, I'm not giving anything away here. You just said you're an Englishman. Um, but uh, after Trump's inaugural, a lot of Americans, I think misguidedly, uh, wanted to leave America, thought about leaving the country. You had a different reaction. What was your reaction when you saw that? I, yeah, I decided to become a citizen. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> you're giving it a go? You know, I thought after 15 years, yes. I married an American by mistake. The lovely and talented Jennifer Connelly, exactly, yeah. yeah. Ruined my life. Uh huh. Who was to see this coming? Uh, so I thought, you know, this country's been really good to me, and it's just, you know, like the republic that's at stake and stuff like that. So I thought I, sh I should um, be able to vote, and, um, but I got to move to Florida to really make a dent, I suppose. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> Or Ohio. Yeah, somewhere yeah. like that. So. Or Russia. There's um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, have you, are you taking classes? Like, because you have to pass a test, right? Yeah, you, to have, to, you, have, to, you have to do a whole biometrics thing, and then they ask you things like, uh, you know, what are the branches of government, all of that stuff. But, you know, that... that... Do you know anything about Abraham Lincoln? Do you know anything? What yeah, state yeah. was he from? He was from the one where he cut wood. <laughs> I'll get there. Yes, it was that one state that had wood. <laughs> um, now, uh, I, I always love to talk to actors who, you know, have successful careers now, but started off, like, uh, a little rough and tumble. And I understand that you actually did one of the lowest forms of entertainment in the world. You were a busker on the streets of London when yes, you so, were Yeah, younger. yeah, I was. Explain to the people what you mean when you say busking. Oh, it's like begging, but with the guitar, really, is <laughs> Is, mm -hmm. is what you're doing. You put your, 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 your guitar case out and you play songs and, mm -hmm. and, and, and hope for the best. So were you going to be a musician originally? I wanted to be a guitar player, yeah. But I wasn't oh. good enough. Did you have, like, who were your idols? Like, who did you want to be? Did, like... Oh, I was really into, you know, people like Johnny Marr and, and, and the, the, yeah, the Smiths at the time. So OK. My, so you were... That was my... That was my so era. you were depressed. No! <laughs> he's very funny. The Smith, you know, Morrissey's very funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's very funny in private. I find his songs I've funny. Him. <laughs> well, He's well, a little self-serious. That's a different matter, yes. That's a different matter, <laughs> okay. I bust in Edinburgh. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you play? Uh, it's so embarrassing to say. No, go on. Uh, I, I did mime. No, you didn't. <laughs> I said it was embarrassing. Can we dim the lights? <laughs> it, was, it was me <laughs> and two other friends who had actually studied under a, a very sort of a accomplished mime teacher, and we ran into each other after traveling around Europe. We had no money, and we said, <laughs> why don't we busk on the mound in Edinburgh? And we'd made, like, between the three of us, we'd made, like, 21 pounds, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. in a day, because, and, you know, we weren't good. And, <laughs> but isn't it a magical sound when that, that pound coin, oh, that yeah. kind of thick pound coin hit the pavement? Yeah. Jeez, that was a beautiful sound. Or you, when it hit you. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> On Discovery, there's a new series you're in called uh, Manhunt Unabomber. Yes, Where you is. play Ted Kaczynski. I do, yeah. You're a very handsome Ted Kaczynski. He must be very flattered. <laughs> Did you get to spend any time with him? <laughs> We like this. Yeah? Yeah. No, no I didn't. I no, didn't. we didn't do a ride along. You no, know, I think. <laughs> <laughs> a crazy along or anything like that. I don't know. You're an act. Actors do this kind of stuff. Yeah, I think it was a moot point. Even if I wanted to, I think the sort of clearance to get to Supermax, you know, that yeah. I, they don't just let any English person into Supermax. <laughs> <laughs> you could go in there and say, I'm almost a citizen. Let I'm me almost, in. I'm never becoming a citizen after this interview. <laughs> 
So how how unibombery did you get? Like how method did we get with the unibombing here? Um, well, I, I didn't send anybody packages or anything like that. No? Like that. Did you machine, did you machine your own screws? Did you go uh, I didn't live off it. the grid or anything like that? No, but I went to, you know, there's this story. I went to live in a cabin on my own and, and... Because um, he, li he lived out in Montana or Idaho. He lived in Montana like in, that, a, yeah. in a 10 by 8 cabin and... A shack. I, yeah, I didn't do that. I went in a very chic, lovely cabin with a, <laughs> with a little pool and... <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, it's a Unabomber staying at a chalet. Exactly. <laughs> I, that's how you do I it. Sort of that's how you do it. Were you alone? I was alone, which is... For the whole time? God, no. <laughs> but so then, Jennifer visited? No, gosh, she wouldn't do that. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Um, no, um, no I... internet or anything? No, I did. I cut out the internet. I really tried to cut out the internet, because I, you know, I, it's, it's, it's... He lived alone for 20 years in this, in this shack, in this 10 by 8 shack, without running water. And, yeah. and we, it's so in constant contact, you know, contact with every... I'm texting him. So just taking three days to not, not respond to any... Not, not receive an email, just turn everything off. It was really peculiar. And just be on your own. Mm -hmm. So after three days of not... Great. <laughs> Oh, we, we have a clip here. Uh, I think this is you explaining uh, how you won't get caught to yes. the FBI. Can, can you explain what's going on here? Yes. Uh, Agent Fitzgerald, played by Sam Worthington, thinks he has all the cards. I'm informing him that I have all the cards. How was that? That was great. Jim? <laughs> the only evidence connecting me to the Unabom attacks was found inside my cabin. The only reason the FBI was legally allowed to search my cabin was because of your search warrant. But if... That search warrant was issued on false pretenses or based on arguments that fail to meet the burden of proof. Well, then all the evidence found at that location is deemed fruit of the poisonous tree. It's tainted. It's inadmissible. It's got to be thrown out. So if the search warrant goes, then all their mountains of evidence simply disappear. Don't don't tell me how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Escape from Supermax. Well, lovely to see you again. Nice to see you. Manhunt Unabomber premieres August 1st on Discovery. Paul Bettany, everybody. We'll be right back with Laura Benanti.